Quick, who's your mobile phone provider? Despite what it says up there, it may not be who you expect. You see, many countries only have a small handful of companies that own the back-end infrastructure, such as cell towers and data servers that make up the mobile network you use every day. For example, there are only three such national operators providing service to our friends down in the United States, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. But if you're an American, I'm sure you've seen commercials for Boost Mobile, Consumer Cellular, Google Fi, and many others. And many of these promise nationwide coverage. So how do they pull this off if they don't even have their own towers? Each of these companies is an example of what we call an MVNO. And no, that's not some trap house band that you found on Apple Music. It stands for Mobile Virtual Network Operator. And it's exactly what it sounds like. A mobile company that operates virtually, that is, without owning their own infrastructure. But what the heck is the point of that? Well, it turns out this kind of arrangement can be a win-win-win for the big carriers, the MVNOs themselves, and for customers. The large mobile operators get to sell off unused bandwidth that they might not otherwise make any money off of. The MVNOs get to buy large amounts of this unused capacity at wholesale prices, like some kind of Costco for radio waves. And then they pass these savings along to you, the customer. In fact, this is the key way that MVNOs differentiate themselves from the big carriers that they piggyback off of. They advertise similar coverage areas for lower prices. And some MVNOs will even buy bandwidth from multiple networks, which can give you even better coverage than if you bought directly from one of the big boys. They can also differentiate themselves from other providers by offering better customer service or more favorable contractual terms, sometimes no contracts at all. So if you're paying less money for the same coverage and better service, why aren't we all just using MVNOs? We'll tell you about some of their pitfalls right after we thank Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Answering emails and drafting proposals can be overwhelming, but Grammarly is here to help. Grammarly provides comprehensive spelling and grammar suggestions to ensure that your writing is mistake-free and polished. Simply install the free desktop app, log in, and start typing. There's also Grammarly Premium, which provides more in-depth feedback on your writing to make you sound more confident. And you'll save time with their clarity-enhancing full-sentence rewrite feature. Just go to Grammarly.com slash TechWiki and sign up for a free account, and you can get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. One big difference you've probably noticed if you've ever considered going with an MVNO is that their selection of smartphones tends to be a little more limited. Of course, you can always just buy your phone separately instead of through a provider, but the big advantage of buying it through your carrier is that you often get a subsidy or a payment plan, making it cheaper than purchasing it outright. At least, cheaper upfront. But even if you get the device you want at a good price from an MVNO, you might be in for a rude surprise when you dig into the details of your coverage plan. One of the biggest pitfalls of MVNOs is that although they often advertise having speeds just as fast as their parent carriers, those major carriers will nearly always prioritize their own customers. So there's a good chance that you'll experience throttling or forced slowdowns both during peak usage hours and if you exceed a certain amount of data use each month. And to top it off, the high-speed data that you do get may not even be 5G. All of that said, MVNOs are not all the same, with some offering features and data plans that differ greatly from their competitors. So read the fine print before you fork your hard-earned money over to either a major carrier or an MVNO, no matter how funny or annoying the advertising might be. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like or dislike button, depending how you feel. Check out our other videos or leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future Fast As Possible.